This is just a quick demonstration of a steam boiler that I've built. For a test rig, I need a controlled amount of steam for a certain amount of time to run this carbonic fuel synthesizer that I'm building. Okay, so one of the things I'm concerned about with this steam system is adiabatic expansion. These valves are extremely small, okay? And according to this equation right here, which is poorly written, of course, um, I may see some significant cooling of my steam, which is unacceptable. I may have to get bigger valves. I'm not sure how one gets around that. I know I need to insulate these things better. I'm just running some tests right now to kind of clean this thing out. I want to see how long this thing can boil off, but if anyone has any suggestions or any comments on the adiabatic expansion that I may encounter here, I know I'm going to encounter it. I mean, the same thing happens inside of refrigerators. It's some, they used to use valves like this to turn the refrigerant into a liquid. So hopefully I can keep these valves cracked open enough that won't happen. They have to be slightly closed because the minute amount of steams I'm going to be needing. I'm going to have to have stoichiometrically proportioned amounts of steam being injected into this device and in two places actually. Uh, in this primary superheater which is going to be running the combustion chamber and in this secondary superheater which will be running that reaction cavity over there which is a whole different video anyway if you have any comments on the adi adiabatic expansion I'm sorry then please let me know what you think about that and what I can do to valve steam without turning it back into liquid do I need to make a hot valve or something I just don't know what I'm, maybe I should just run the boiler at a very low rate with the valves wide open or some kind of configuration of that nature. Maybe that's what I need to do is not try and regulate my steam with the valves, but maybe do it with the boiler and the propane input. That may be what I have to do. The problem is I've got a feeling I'm gonna need a lot more steam out of this line than I am this one. That's where the problem's coming from. So, here we go. Okay, this is test two. I'm gonna be doing something a little different in this test. I'm gonna leave the headers open there. Just to kind of observe the steam flow. I know you can't actually see, see steam, but I wanna see how much water vapor we're getting with these valve settings at different configurations. I wanna try like a quarter turn, half turn, all that good stuff. I also have a thermal couple probe in this first exhaust tube and I have it set on Celsius because the thermal dynamics I'm going to be doing on these numbers require Celsius and I don't want to have to convert it. And I also want to get a feel for what Celsius is on some of these over temperatures. I'm going to flip it back and forth of course. but. We're going to see what that does as well. This time I'm going to run at 70 PSI's and see how hot we can get this. Now, I want to also observe the correlation between this temperature scale and this temperature scale. because They're obviously going to be different. And I'm going to set this flame at a particular level where the inner cone is just touching the bottom of the boiler. And I'm going to be logging these stats because the device I'm going to be running is going to require a certain amount of steam. And I don't want to over steam it. I've also got uh, just a lot of other figures I need to jot down to get an idea of how this thing is going to work. I've got a lot of, know a lot about it in order to use it for what it's going to be used for. Okay, pressure it up. Temp is rising. Thermal couples at 58 Celsius. And 540 into it. Starting to drop off of setting A just a touch and kick the gas up a hair. Okay. What we got going on here. So 
Temperature's rising. Approaching 100 Celsius at 620 into it. 620 something anyway. Pressure is rising quickly. I really don't want to break that bottom gauge. I'm going to go ahead and crack that. Close it just a touch. Keep that bottom gauge off. Now that's probably the amount of steam I'm going to be injecting into the combustor of the device I'm building. And I'm about to peg that poor gauge. Okay, we're at 70. Cracking the other valve. Celsius is rising. Maintaining 70 psi. That lower temperature is still fairly cool. Looks like I'm going to hit 100 Celsius there finally. Good deal. So I'm at least getting 100 Celsius steam at that rate. But I need it to be hotter. Hotter or better. With 70 psi, that should be some pretty hot steam. Good thing I'm wearing safety goggles and all that. So I'm going to have to tighten up my overpressure valve apparently. I loosened it a little because I didn't want it to get too powerful. Good to see that it's working, I guess. At the expense of a heart attack. Still did not hit over 100 Celsius on that steam. Now, I probably flash boiled a huge amount of my water. Now that this happened, I may want to shut that down and look into that because flash boiling definitely changes everything. I'm at 101 Celsius. I wonder if I can tighten that up on the fly. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop everything here. We didn't see what we wanted to at 70 PSI anyway. And it's a good thing I intentionally directed these ports the way I did. I was hoping what it would do is blast steam down into there and put the flame out for me and everything. Um, if that would have been facing me, that might have burnt like hell. So I was smart enough at least to get that out of my face. At 102 Celsius on that steam. I want to try and purge the tank and see if I can get it to roar. I'm pretty sure adiabatic expansion is just killing me here. See how that happened? I open the valve and we lose temperature. Shouldn't happen. How is that possible? That's a significant blast of steam coming out of there. Hundred and four Celsius at about PSI. Hundred and five Celsius. Hundred and six. So this is some fairly hot steam, just not very hot. Now that I've cracked that valve down that much, we're gonna lose temperature I'm thinking. I don't know if you can see that. I don't have a good background. 
up to 107 Celsius, 108. That gauge there is not representing that at all. There's probably a lot of condensing, condensation cooling taking place. Well, what's going on there? I'm going to bend it a little more here, get a little more steam on it. Better yet, I'm going to draw back. Pressure it up again. I know that alarm's annoying. Let's shut her off. Okay, even though the pressure's up, losing temperature due to probably convection and most likely the adiabatic expansion, that's why we're seeing liquid in there. Kind of like inside a refrigerator. I'm going to open it up now. A little bit hotter of a steam. And it's cooling it off. That definitely proves the adiabatic expansion here because I'm cooling off my thermal couple with blasting steam here. That's the only thing that could explain that. And I'm dropping under boiling point here. Weird. 13 minutes into it. I'm gonna shut it off all the way. Man, those needles are hot. <laughs> Dropping in temp quick, and it's still got some steam and stuff sizzling out of there. Very curious how much water I flash boiled out of this thing when that valve popped. 